a train traveling at 50 meters per second to the left. So right away we have to be careful here. The initial velocity is to the left. That's a negative, negative 50 meters per second. It then changes to 10 meters per second to the right. So V final is going to be 10 meters per second to the right. And that's a positive. So let's put the positive in there just to remember it. And our time is 15 seconds. We have to find the acceleration. So our formula is change in velocity over time. And let's draw the picture here. Notice I'm starting on the right side of the box. Why? Because you're going to the left in the beginning, 50 meters per second to the left. Then at some point, the train turns around or just backs up or whatever, and is now going 10 meters per second to the right. And that happens in 15 seconds. So there's no manipulation of the equation required because we're trying to find acceleration. So our final velocity is, let's see, 10 meters per second. The initial was a minus, minus, it was a minus 50. So what we have here is 10 minus a minus 50. And that's our meters per second. And the time it takes is 15 seconds. So minus a minus gives a plus, so we actually have 60 over 15 meters per second squared. So our answer for acceleration is 4 meters per second squared, and that's a positive 4. Okay, so our answer here is going to be D.